Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we'll be doing the performance testing of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 with the Dimensity 9500 chip. So we have two flagship devices with us, uh, the OnePlus 15 and uh, uh, the uh, we also have uh, the Vivo X300 Pro. So these are two devices with a really flagship uh, uh, chip. We have the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Uh, we have 16 gigs of RAM. This is also the Dimensity 9500 octa-core processor, 16 gigs of RAM. Now both have UFS 4.1 LPDDR5X RAM. So Oxygen OS 16 versus Origin OS 6. So we'll be doing the performance testing of these two devices. Uh, so we'll uh, do the CPU throttling test, then the stress test, anti to benchmark uh, and also so the geek bench test so let's start uh, the performance testing so first let's open uh, the cpu throttling test so we'll uh, see how uh, good the uh, throttling experience is on this so 20 uh, loop test and uh, 20 threads and 15 loop test so we'll just turn on the airplane mode on both the phones so there you go we have uh, turned off the bluetooth turned on the airplane mode so there you go, uh, we have 100% uh, percentage battery on both the devices. Let's also check the temperature, 30 degrees right now. Here also you can see here, almost 30 degrees, not much of difference. So both are around 30 degrees. So let's start the test uh, here, uh, 15 minute test. So now we have completed the CPU uh, throttling test and you can see that the, the value 65 percentage is a throttling on uh, the OnePlus 15 while it is 61 percentage on uh, the uh, Vivo X300 Pro. So OnePlus did uh, better here overall you can see from the graph and the temperature was uh, around 38 degrees on uh, the OnePlus 15 while it was around 42 degrees on the Vivo X300 Pro. So in terms of thermals also uh, the OnePlus 15 was a slightly better option. So the next test uh, is the wildlife uh, extreme stress test. So we'll uh, perform a couple of tests on the 3D Mark uh, app. Wildlife extreme stress test is the one uh, we are right now going to do. It's a 20 loop test and uh, let's see how it performs in the 20 loop. We'll also monitor the temperature and the stability after uh, the stress test. So now we completed uh, the wildlife extreme uh, stress test. You can see the best loop score 6548 while uh, the Dimensity 9500 has slightly better loop score here 7137. Lowest loop score is also better on the Dimensity 7, uh, uh, Dimensity 6500. Now stability is almost 70% here while this is 73%. Now if you go to the battery drop uh, 86 to 74%, 97 to 81% and you can see the temperature is 42 maximum here uh, while uh, the Dimensity 9500 has a much higher uh, temperature almost 4 degrees higher at 46 uh, degrees. Now FPS is maximum at 48 this is 49 almost similar here so that's the uh, wildlife extreme uh, stress test so, we'll so next uh, test uh, is uh, the antitube benchmark test so here you go uh, almost 37 lakh here we have 35 lakh so definitely the oneplus um, uh, 15 with the snapdragon 8 uh, le gen 5 is more powerful you can see the gp score the cp score uh, this is 36 lakh 93,000. This is 35 lakh 76,000. Here you can clearly see that uh, uh, in terms of anti to benchmark, uh, you can uh, see how uh, powerful the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 is better than the Dimensity 9500 chip. Now you can also see uh, the storage test. So storage test, you can see that both are returned very similar values. Uh, UFS 4.1 and LPDDR5X uh, uh, RAM. You can see here 147, 861, 156, 16, almost similar values uh, uh, with uh, the test. Now finally the Geekbench test, uh, so we have also performed the Geekbench test. So let's uh, show you the difference here. So you can see here 313523 is the single core score, 3195 while this is uh, 10364 while this is 8380. So once again you can see that uh, the OnePlus 15 scores highest values when compared to the, uh, the Vivo X300 uh, 
Pro, uh, which has the Dimensity 9500. So once again, you can see the multi-score is way higher on the uh, Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 compared to the Dimensity 9500. So that was the quick performance testing of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 with uh, the Dimensity 9500. So in terms of raw benchmark scores, you can say that uh, the uh, Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 is definitely more powerful and uh, uh, more performance oriented or slightly better overall than the Dimensity 9500. So what do you guys think about these two processors? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Umbral signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.